happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM23 series. We'll look at young talent on Football Manager and we we'll see how they get on the course of their career. But players I'm curious about and players that you give in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep making these videos until end of FM23. I'm not sure how many more videos we're going to be doing because obviously the beta comes out soon as well. So we'll have to wait and see. So, today's player is Tommaso Baldanzi. I'm probably pronounced that completely wrong, but I'm going. I'm going, I'm going to go with that. Um, so, young attacking midfielder, and you know my problem with attacking midfielders. Not so much that their issue is I can't get them to play well, so it's my issue. But maybe this guy is is one you're looking for in that position as well, because I'm looking for cams all the time. So straight away, as you can see here, he's got a really good technical ability for 19 years old already. But the technique been really high. The first touch being good as well. So is dribbling. Very, very good there. Good determination as well at 16. And the fit and the pace and the general fitness uh, also physical stats look good as well. Likes running the ball often. Uh, could play attacking midfield. Could play striker as well, which is you know not terrible. So look at development here as you can see here is a very strong on his left foot, reason on his right foot, which is not bad. And then he can even play centre mid as well if he if he wanted to. So as you can see here, he's signed a contract 2022. So there's no point in doing a transfer fee negotiation because he, I think he did sign this summer. No, he's signed a, a, a deal. So there's no point in doing a, a scout report and things like that on him because there's no, no real point. We can see it on here the stats. Um, the only reason I'll do a scout report and transfer fee is because we can sign the player. Uh, but obviously he won't want to join after signing the contract. He's not, not, not in my experience anyway. So. Uh, is there any, any clause in his contract right now? There's no release clause in that contract at the moment from um, Empoli. But yeah, it looks like a guy who could play. He, he could play wide. I mean, he, he has got a, a strong left foot, a very strong left foot. So he's, so he's not useless out there. Got a dribbling. I'm pretty sure he'll get the pace as well. He's got a max potential rating of 170. So not bad. So let's continue. Let's go to the first room and see how he gets on the first few years. Okay, well that escalated quickly. He's now at Bayern Munich, but look at the mental stats. They are literally, well, mental. Um, 16 on anticipation, composure 16, decision 17, determination 16, off the ball 18, vision 18. Good flair as well. Good work rate, good teamwork. Physically, not terrible either. Obviously good duty and balance and the pace and the acceleration going slightly as well. Player trait, gets the ball, gets, gets into up position area plays one two runs the ball often uh, dribbling 17 good technique good passing as well good first touch so very very good already and the valuation is currently between 32 million pound and 94 million pound so first of all let's look at the injury record so we've got a broken lower leg for five months which happened in 2025 so he's but he's over that now um so that's that's just an, that's just a freak injury i don't think that's anything to be concerned about obviously it's not ideal um so how much did they pay for him 16 million well oh, right 20 but still even if they pay 20 million if they, if they actually pay those all those add-ons that's a bargain and play how did he get on there so first season in this review got six goals three assists then he got 10 goals two assists all in so that's in Serie A. He got 10 goals and they got relegated. Serie B got 9 goals and 4 and then he got 7 and 7. Goes to Bundesliga in Germany and gets 5, gets five goals in 16 appearances. But what a bargain this is for, a, for, for him. I'm assuming he's not... It's, okay, they've put him in his cost £100 million. They've been smart about that. It's not often you see that in... I, 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 I was going to say, you don't often see that in German clubs, but I could be wrong in saying that. But yeah, looks like a really, really good talent, doesn't it? I mean, £20 million. In the, even if you pay that, it's not a bad deal at all. And that broken lower leg, of course, we've got a factor into the equation as well. That could have caused problems. So let's look at the bigger picture here and see how he's getting on with the other roles he could play. So striker is more is, is a combination in that position, and he's still competent in midfield central and midfield midfield right and side so, winger and midfield central. Because of, I think, AMC is still the best role for him. Um, getting to obviously, I'm assuming a shadow striker will be the one um could pay him a striker um yeah but i mean i think the problem with that would be like i have to get into the opposition area which is fine but plays one two and runs the ball often if those traits get on him or you know 
doesn't make sense in this in this scenario to play a striker because you lose that a lot of you know I think he's got um I'm saying I'm, I'm trying to talk myself into saying he's a striker. You could be all right. You could play him a striker. I don't think it'd be a problem, but I think he would be better with um, because of, because of dribbling, having outside the box, getting in there, running with the ball, or arriving late um, with that trait. Obviously, it stands there. So, yeah, let's continue. So we still at Bayern Munich, and you can see relatively the same stats on technical, mental, and physicals. We've got some more player traits to look at. Um, so what we've got new on here, try kill balls often, argues with officials and gets crowd going. So quite a passionate player. Uh, he's got low aggression, but good anticipation. Yeah, he's still a really good player. How much did they, did they end up paying that full price for him? They did. So then the next season he got 14 goals, 7 assists. Then he got 11 goals, 6 assists. And then he got 12 and 5. And then he got 13 and 5. All in the Bundesliga for Bayern Munich. He's getting regular football. I'm wondering if that broken leg he got five months. Oh, he, got, he also got a fractured lower leg. Is that the same? Oh, I feel like it's the same leg. We could find that out, of course, couldn't we? If we were minding him. But yeah, I wonder if those two injuries there have caused a problem. But he's still banging in the goals and assists. I think one thing that compensates for maybe not insane technical ability, like the 17s, 18s across the board, is those mental stats. Also, I think also the factor. He's, he's at Bayern Munich. He's in a team that is going to dominate most games. So, and that was also a fact. The players he's playing with, the players he's playing with, is a factor as well. Like I say, you can. Like I said at the start, you could play him wide. You really could. I think I wouldn't play him centre mid. I wouldn't play centre mid um, unless you had to. I think AMC, right winger, and then maybe striker in that order. So AMC natural position, then maybe right wide right to utilise that dribbling, get, get full speed on. AMC at start. Natural position, midfielder right or winger. I even phrase it to utilise that dribbling skill he has, and the fact he actually runs the ball often, and then striker at the at the end. But I don't think any position he played badly. I mean, he's playing AMC, and yeah, he's he's playing AMC and right wing. So there too, that they, they they seem to agree with me uh, at this point in time. So uh, I want to see if he can continue this record of getting double goals and assists because he seems like he's doing it at the moment. Let's see if he continues. Okay, so he's now 30 years old, and this is his peak, and you can see the technicals have, start, have gone up a little bit now on the first, which free kick taking, passing technique, and drilling being the highest one. Mental stats, mental stats, blah, blah, blah. Mental stats basically the same, so, so, so are the um, physicals as well. Injury record, apart from the two leg injuries that are quite serious, he's been relatively okay, so I'm not too concerned by this. And then you're looking at his career stats, so look at his career stats here. So he got 12 and 5, he got 13 and 5, 9 and 7. Then 16 and 10, 18 and 12. He is an absolute dynamo in a, in a midfield, second, second midfield or central position. And I think you should really, 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 really consider getting him. Um, I think for the money the Bayern Munich pay, they've got a bargain here. 20 million. It's absolute steal. Um, so, rating out of 10, 9.5. He's almost perfect. Um, I just think maybe. No, no, give him a 9. I think the I give him a ten out of ten for me personally. If the only thing that makes me not the only thing that makes me hesitant is I feel like it can it can be better, but I think the the to to give him to, to, to be fair to him, I think the injury he got, the broken leg for five months, and the fact that for two months is the reason maybe why. But there's no negative side to him. The only thing I'd say is a slight negative on him is he's not amazingly quick. Uh, I was when I saw the stats at the start. I thought it might jump a bit higher, um, but apart from that, he can play anywhere in the midfield, right back behind a striker or in a striker as well. So your thoughts, guys, down below in the comment section on this. I'm using new software to record my videos. Essentially, it's it allows me to record them both at the same time on one program and export the all, the webcam separately. Hopefully everything's okay. It should be, but it's easier than having, than having two windows on the OBS open and running the risk of that issue where I don't have the profile set on the second screen correctly for the game footage. Where this one just exports the webcam to a second image, I can then crop it down and make it bigger and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully it's all okay. Um, we're still having issues with the PC, which I'm working on, uh, pushing for a full refund now on this one. It's not suitable. It's just not it's very erratic, but we'll see what happens. So. 
Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Keep an eye on the content. We are making FM24 content. I'll deep on that when I get more information about this PC and what's happening with that. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.